Hello everyone, my name is the Ember Knight, or Emma for short. Welcome back to the channel, and this is the 17th game in the 31 days of Halloween that we are currently doing on the channel. Once again, we are playing Got in a Band Band, the third one. I don't know why I went like this. Um, I'm just going to get straight into it, because there's not much to say. For a parent looking for the missing child, Chime is like a ma, yes, I know. I am just continuing this straight off there. I'm going to buy man too. Oh. Hey, Dave. Um, so that's to appeal a bird. Don't want to go there. Queen Bounceela says, Just jump as much as you like, but never to conclusions. The naughty one says, Finish your homework and be nice if you don't want to join us. What the hell is a naughty one? Glad to see you've made it. I don't know how you did it, but then again, you survived that giant elevator crash, so uh, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Also, again, I apologize for hitting you over the head. In fact, it is for this reason that I believe we should not meet face to face. You see, sure. For whatever reason, I am prone to violent instincts, and I do not trust myself to not give in to them again. I have locked myself inside of a surveillance room. That way I can help without being a danger to you. We are currently on the lowest floor to remain active before everything went awry. There are many floors below us, but they've all remained closed and abandoned for quite some time now. So just make sure not to fall. As for your children, I don't know exactly where they're being kept, but I know someone who does. Head to the aquatic sector. That's where he resides. Okay. I always knew I was an unlucky person, but this is a new standard. I leave a bustling floor, a bustling floor for the Russian. When I return, everybody's gotten votaries, which would have been peaceful if it wasn't for the giant bird walking around. I doubt I can keep this quiet for much longer. My breaths are getting very heavy. What's the bird doing outside of its containment anyway? I thought they were showing off only the short purple, cre purple creature because we were behind on schedule. This is not how I imagined my end would be. Okay, so yeah, like I said, um, I think it was on the first episode. Poppy Playtime is just like... Ludwig's like, are we doing experiments? Are we talking about these specimens? I mean, it, it's very hinted at it, but, you know, it's not like, it's not like a very clear answer. Got in a band band's like, yeah, we, we we experiment on your kids, um We um We have these big monsters down here that we show off to the government or whatever. I don't know why he's keeping them. Um I don't know why you need a massive spider, um an intelligent devil man, and then a white version of him. That's a woman who thinks she's a teacher and a snail and whatnot. It just hit me that you need the key card to operate the cable car. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Literally everyone had a copy. It's how you'd get from station to station. Claire was here. Also, like, why would you need a massive jumbo, Josh? I mean, I guess military purposes, but what about the others? Ribbit. Okay, so you got nab nab. Right. I understand the need for nab nab because nab nab is like, if if he could use that in war, that would be terrifying. Queen bounce, Selena. Don't understand why you would need that. Slow sea line. Don't understand either. Um, Jumbo Josh. I don't know how strong he is to take bullets, but he could be like an absolute unit in battle. Bambolina and Ban Ban. I guess they could do communication and help them with a highly intelligent appeal bird. 
don't know why you need that. Captain Fiddles, never met him. Something off I mean, if it's a giant jellyfish, um, yeah, why not? Sheriff Toads, I don't know. And Navalina. Uh, Navalina, I do not like the sound of her. Lonely. No. One thing I'm pretty sure I, I know like people have said it before me, um, I know it's like a big debate, well in horror, in horror stuff it's like, it's mentioned a lot, but kids drawings like, really can, like, mean a lot to a kid, like a kid expresses a lot through drawings. Notice the janitor as cleaner checks are required before end of ships. Oddities are be dropped into the marked hole. Yeah, like a kid's a kid's drawings will always like symbolize something. Whether it be creepy or you know whatnot. Can I have them? Dear Mummy, the nice jellyfish is very strong. He carried everyone to here, but Miss Mason hates him, and I don't know why. Mm. A cleaner has been dispatched. Please wait for a result. Okay, so I'll take it, it's just surveying my work. Yeah, like, in every, like, media I've seen, kids' drawings do so well to... Did that do good? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, kids, kids' drawings, like I say, so symbolize symbolism. Also, they just keep adding more and more characters. I've noticed to like this like drawing board. Like at first, we started off with um, what was it? Jumbo Josh, Bamblina, Opila Bird, Captain Fiddle, Stinger Flynn, and, and I think Sheriff Toadster. Oh wait, no, I think it was them six first. And then Sheriff Toadstar, Slow Sea Line, and Ban Ban got added. Sorry, Nab Nab. Then Queen Bouncelina and Navalina are in this one. God knows what the fourth one's gonna have. Um, you are here, so I need to go right. Ooh, it's one of them games where you jump. Okay, of course. I don't know why I'm like it's one of them games. Obviously, when you if you jump on a platform that's moving, it's gonna it's gonna move without you. I always get surprised for some reason. Also, the oven behind me, the oven and the microwave looks like two eyes, and that's like really cool and not scary at all. You know, glass is a breakable material. Is it really? Well, it's not really yellow, but I know what you're implying. Where you at, Dave? Okay, yeah, I get what you're implying. Boop, boop, boop. Strange how um it just kinda detect um you know it, it kinda detect these things like sorry it kinda it kinda detect like through glass. There's a right somebody for everybody you just need to look, Navalina. 
Honestly, true. Wise words, Navalina. That is true. It might be hard in this world, but it's so possible. Wee. Ooh, you are big. Okay, no wonder you could take the entire, like, school. Sorry, not the entire school, the entire kindergarten away. My damn. You know, just a hollow husk underneath. Well, no, no, like, um, no mouth part. Oh, communication kiosk. Hey, but... had a rough day, I can tell him that. You would diligently wait for the moment you leave this wretched place with your child in hand. I can also tell. Not to undermine your effort, but I fear that moment may never come. I cannot let it happen. And I will gladly show you why, but after I do, you take my advice. Leave this place while you still can. Erase it from your memory. Move on and forget any of this ever happened. And I promise you, tomorrow will be a better day. Hmm. Well, you've got to think, bro. Some people cannot live without their kids. Their kids are everything to them. And I'm assuming, like, I'm a single parent if, um, no one else came with me. Um... Okay. Welcome to my home. Or at least, I was supposed to be my home. Down in the dark and cold depths of the facility. The circumstances force you to do things that are out of your nature. When I feel that I'm straying too far off my original course. I head to the room and found me meditating and to mentally reboot. I come to this place. And then I am reminded that one of my is worth all of this pain and suffering. Of course, none of this is me. But of all that, I have never had actual sun rays touch my skin. Can you imagine that? And I yearn for the day that they finally do. I need the children to achieve that, but do not worry, I will practice the safest of procedures. Whatever I decide to do with the adults, I will make sure to keep one alive and sane so that the surviving children are delivered to the surface safe and sound. Mm. And of course, to deliver me to where I choose to be. So he's bargaining with oh. using the kids. Live the simple life of a completely brainless jellyfish, just munching on shrimp and avoiding getting eaten by turtles all day. Oh, yeah, I have a good job. You never avoiding appreciate that. how calming it is to have no conscience until you have one. I admire your courage, so I'm giving you the chance to walk away. Take it. That way, you won't lose both your life and the chances of your child. So he isn't saying, oh, you can't, you, you need to leave and you're not going to see your child again. He's, he's basically saying, leave, um, I will get your children out with one sane adult so I can be delivered where I want to be. So he's like bargaining with the adults. No liver, no intestines, oh. but most importantly, no pancreas. You, sir, need to have more organs. What am I supposed to eat when there's nothing to eat? Guess I'm going to have to look elsewhere. So that's Ban Ban's true form. Goddamn. 
So that's why it says um, your pancreas is mine on like one of these pictures. God. Okay. I remember this game like it seems to take a lot of weird turns, but Stinger Finn likes to collect jellyfish. Collect seashells in this chest. Find them eight shells to get your prize. Oh, great. This took such a weird turn. Maybe I don't need the seashells? I'm hoping I don't. I should have really increased the sensitivity for this. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm already on max sensitivity. Of course that was last episode because, as I say, I am pre-recording this. So I've got more time to play Warlong. Dun 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 dun. Okay, well I can't even open my menu anyway, so... And it's like enough time to like jump over. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna stand here and get them like both of my vision. And that way, like, I can just jump over to them. Thank God that's over. Oh. You are not one of them. You are not one. You need to hide. They are coming. Okay, so prank less. Where where the hell did you go? I don't know if you like sprinted away or like <laughs> or did something. I don't know. Sheriff Toad's dimension. Sheriff Toad starts catching criminals. Catch him ten criminals to earn your prize. Coach does jail. The place all criminals tremble when they hear about. Okay, so one, two. Follow the light, you don't trip on the lights as they appear. Two, four.
Press me to start round two, okay. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Boss room. He's not bossy, but he's the boss. Okay, we got a tape. I'm willing to bet one of them is in like one of these plants. Oh no, he's just over there. Ten. I was gonna say, I'm not gonna get my prize. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up, God. For some reason, part of me thought this was gonna be a lot harder. Okay, what do I do? Sidekick. Okay, so with the big doors. <laughs> Twenty-three minutes. Not bad. Not bad. I don't know what you can. Oh no. What happened to you is one of Stinger Flynn's tricks. Left the progressive side. We have something more important to deal with right now. See Nab Nab's room? It's open now, which means he's inside. He's on the hunt, and it's too dangerous to do anything in this state. We have to deal with him. Luckily, I have a solution, but you won't like it. Head to the medical sector, and we'll talk there. Okay, um... This, um, uh, Stinger Flynn... <sighs> this is Stinger Flynn's, um, case support. Case 13 has... As has happened in the beginning with most prior cases, it's finally started showing signs of body and brain activity, which means actual testing will be possible soon. Dormancy for two to three weeks has been absorbed in all prior cases when GV and the genomes are first mixed and placed into a body. Case 13 is an abnormality. Sorry, in this aspect, Case 13's body has been only in the expected dormant state for a single day. Okay, that's not charged. Neuro activity has already been observed. This is new. Okay, this is new. A proposed theory is this phenomenon being a direct result of the modifications applied to given aim. Solution being used after the testing of case 12G, which would allow for maximum learning speed cases not ready for presentation. None of them are ready for presentation. Have we ever had one that's ready? Um, so medical sector. <sighs> hmm. Okay, so thankfully it's literally just like as simple as... Right to left. That makes sense. Well, I want to activate. Okay, so I need to go forward first and then right. Why 
Where the hell are you taking me? Oh, you took me straight to the medical sector. Wow. The Devil. K6 rebellious behavior remained unchanged even after the induction of K7 and so alternative methods were approved by management to encourage cooperation. One such method was the induction of a newly modified uranium solution. Engineered to lower the functions of self in it. In any case... Oh, shit. In any case, is case 2 of type 5, which is responsible for one's brain functions. This new modified given you know, solution will never be applied again, and also excess material will be locked away. Under the heavy sedation, the new solution was applied to case's system. Shortly after case 6, a, a piano experienced excruciating stomach pain that was so eager, and it fell on its knees while holding its stomach before undergoing significant physical changes. It appears the solution was so effective that limiting self thinking in the case 6 fell victim to the primitive instinct. We are so badly trying to avoid. Case is, once again, not ready for presentation. So they basically like, made them, they made them go from a cutesy, I say cutesy, like normal, well, normal is a strong word again. They made them go from that like, free. They made them go from the standard version of them where he's calm to the... Oh, shit. When Navna escaped, it wasn't long before workers started to disappear. Of course, precautions and trading can only get you so far, so we had to think of a more permanent solution. Navna Lena was that solution. We had a theory that Navna was as aggressive as he was due to his loneliness. We never got to prove this theory right, as the collapse happened during the surgery. That's where you come in. You'll be carrying out the final steps of said surgery. Givanium related procedures are very delicate, so I'm going to need you to pay very close attention to these instructions. The hard part is already done. All you need to do is mix the right concentrations and inject her with it about Six times? The machine with the droplet symbols is where that's done. When it's time, the screen will light up with a symbol of the needed concentration. For simplicity, the concentrations have been represented by colors. Mix and achieve the right concentration, then collect it in the syringe and give it to Nabnali. The machine with the colored pipes will occasionally shift to the wrong colors, and when that happens, Use the given tongs to revert them all to their normal state of green. This is so much the buttons time. on the walls will also malfunction at times. When that happens, hit any ones that are lit with your drone. The excess gevanium that you can find in the room will deplete when anything malfunctions or when a concentration is needed to be delivered. The procedure stops if any of the four depletes completely. And what happens next is never good. Only the best of us perform gevanium procedures. But we don't have much of a choice. Good luck. Okay, a good knows a good doctor knows how to prevent excess given AM from depleting completely by injecting the subject to the correctly most concentrated as soon as they need it, turning all power supplies back to green when they malfunction, punching wall buttons as soon as they need punching. Okay, so from what I understand, um when these like shift, I'm guessing I'm gonna I'm gonna have to interact with them. If these change colour, grab the tongs. Um, this board will show me what to put on. Um, obviously, I have to add them and then press. How do I even start this? Want me to hit the buttons? No? Start procedure. Oh, God. I don't even have a card to start it. Let me exit and come back in. How am I meant to start without a card? Bam bam bam. Oh, oh great.
start the procedure and then inject her. Oh, okay, so that's how we start it then. Right, yellow, um, red and green. Red, green. I don't know how those subsets are tools. What? Like I am trying. Um blue, so blue is blue plus green. Oh, I don't want to find out what happens if um, this doesn't go well. Okay, so that has nothing to do with what I was thinking. so much. Get him Dave. Okay, what else do we need? Um, red. So red's just red plus red. No, that makes purple. Fuck. Okay, red plus blue then. I don't know why it's so different colors. That was probably the wrong one to give out. Oh. oh no. Oh. Okay, that wasn't so bad. That could have been much worse if she just like sp sprung at me. I don't know what I meant by give up purple, like, I couldn't say purple. Okay, much like Potty Playtime Chapter 3, I am going to be quiet and, you know, I'm just going to edit all my mistakes out. And, um, you know, from there, you guys can see me, the, the proper footage of me, like, succeeding. Why am I messing that up? Yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow goes to blue, to green. Okay, another dose of yellow. Um, red. I know I said I wasn't going to talk, I don't know why I'm talking.
red plus blue equals purple. That should be correct. Got him. Mm. Purple again, um, red, blue. Okay, we did it. Oh, she's gone. Oh, hello. I give you life, so you should be okay with me. I hope that wasn't too hard. That was horrible. Anyway, grab the audio disc and head back to the aquatic sector and play it on the big speaker in the lounge. Time for a spider you. Hmm. So it'll just be straightforward. I think. I don't think in that direction, so if I do go this direction, I just need to go left. I mean, if I'm saying it's in that direction, then this is the wrong direction, but I don't know. We shall find out. Okay, so yeah, we just need to go like straight forward again. Or this way then. It's very picky on like how it's like one way, which way, which way it wants to go. Like, I don't understand like the direction, but... Thankfully there's only four places to, to pick from. wrong place again. Mm. Where's the new game? Oh, power wash. With their new Shrek DLC. They could, they could, surely power wash can only make, um, another DLC, then that brings it to 100 on Xbox and 101 on PlayStation. I hope it just doesn't keep adding DLC, I mean, I don't know, that's just me. Um, spider assembly called stay away from doors and windows. originally members of the mutants below. They certainly fit. This is... Oh no. Oh shit. Um... 
So she killed him. I don't know where you want me to go from there. Um... I am frozen. You have overstayed your welcome here. Oh, okay. How about I that? even made you an offer, but guess what? Accepting it is long overdue. Don't worry. I won't get rid of you or collect you just yet. I was never one to abide by waste. Oh. An old friend needs you a lot more than I do. They too are on a path to achieve peace of mind. I already have more than enough subjects to move forward with my aspiration and my ultimate mental refinement. You just take a little nap while I transfer you to where you're meant to be. Okay. I feel bad for Nap Nap. I mean, obviously he was like pissed because he didn't have anyone with him. I mean, who wouldn't be pissed? Um, hey you, you're finally awake. Can't blame you for taking a nap. Feels like we've been in this car forever. Oh, right, a little Skyrim reference. So, Singer, when are we arriving at this place called Beach? I believe we are lost. <laughs> nice. You had one job and you messed that up somehow. I am struggling to locate the being who asked for your opinion. <laughs> Can you at least put some music on since we're gonna be out here for a while? I'm definitely getting copyrighted. Fila, what do you think about this? Awesome. You know I'm gonna get copyrighted, don't you, Mr. Captain Figgles? Captain? Okay, decent cancer. Can you stop vocalizing for just one second so I can focus on the road? What do you mean, focus on the road? We've been going in circles for hours. Never trust a jellyfish, am I right, Okila? Good song, leg, like, but this is getting me copyrighted. I don't know if it's if worth your it. Your pathetic Ooh. mouth utters another infuriating sentence. I will stuff your whole body in the. Oh. So what's that meant? A symbol? That's just such a weird, like symbolism. Like them driving in a car. I mean, I'm assuming that's like what they want. They just want a normal life. What's what is that? Is that the thing that I shot on? Oh boy. Okay, so this is gonna I feel that wouldn't hit. Um, let's just get the bottom one. Oh, I'm up.
Perfect. Second one. Oh boy. Three, two, one, fire. Three, two, one, fire. Three, two, one, fire. Three, two, one, fire. Perfect. On to the next one. I might hit this. Okay, so I just had to go like right in its face. So that's why that wasn't working out. Oh, I went all the way back, I think. No, I didn't. Psychic Jellyfish 2. Is there going to be like three parts of this? checking in on us i think he believes we're some sort of dolls mm. we could use that to our advantage to try and escape he cannot know that we're alive every time we move or change something in the room let's make sure that it's back to the way it was before he checks in on us again mm -hmm. this way we can inch our way towards escaping all while he doesn't suspect a thing in other mm. words from his point of view the room must remain unchanged Mm -hmm. When he's close, the lights change color, so run back to your chair when the lights change. Mm -hmm. I don't know where to start though, so you'll give it a try. Yeah. I have to give it a try. Also, Nub Nub's alive. Interesting. Oh god, that sounded bad. Okay, I know already that I'm gonna mess this up. Um, I think it was blue, green, yellow, red. Also, this was one of the parts I actually done on my partner's account. And me being a big dumbass, I had to get her to remember the pattern. Also, end training. I didn't. Quick, sit down. He's coming. Or I should take a picture of what the wall looks like next time. No! 
That's not how the secret club's entrance is supposed to be. If you've got a problem with what I'm doing, you do it, Bambolina. Uh, I obviously hate you. Ma. Ma, 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 ma. I hate you so much, Bambolina. But then again, I guess this is like our little, like, um, standoff to where we can both agree on something. Okay, so it goes that, then it goes green, and then it'll be red, yellow. Okay, yeah. I mean, as soon as you've gotten the blocks, all you need to do is just put them away because you don't need to go back in there. Also, end training, I'm just assuming that just like makes it so he comes faster. Because I just put the block back. I need to put my sensitivity up to the maximum. Yep. Oh, Bandolina, I hate you. I guess this is like our little, like, standoff, I guess. Well, our only agreeance that to escape. Well, actually, it's not even my fault that you guys can't escape. I'm going to escape myself. You guys need me, and you're probably still going to kill us after this. Okay, I think if I had to guess. Hmm. Yeah, that should be enough. I'm pretty sure this is how I did it. And you would. Well, I say I was about to say it in the original. I'm used to saying that before, like Silent Hill 2. Um, yeah, let's. Hey, clear. come help me solve this equation. No, You're no. Right. Maybe now isn't the best time for education? Oh, now isn't the best time. Of course it's not the best time, man. You were gonna get us killed. Come on, Josh. The super secret Jumbo Josh Lounge. Are you cool enough to enter? I remember when I did this on my partner's account just to try and get it done for out. That that fucked me up. Like her equation. I, I didn't I didn't know what to do. I was like, all right, she's gonna get caught. I'm not gonna get caught. It's it's she's gonna die. But no. <laughs> Josh takes no. Josh takes no shit. You move. You are dead. Okay, I do remember as well, I do need to send Dave in there. Um, so yeah. I should probably make sure I know which would door, right, so it's the left door. I think just for safety, I'm going to put the blocks in straight away and um, get Dave to hit that. And then, obviously, like, for safety, I'm going to take the blocks away, close the door, and then I'm going to sit down, because...
I've just got a message from my partner saying she heard me in the bathroom. Um, I'm not. I'm obviously here, so she heard my voice apparently. So little stolen tongue scenario. <laughs> Um, that's such a good read. Um, if you guys ever want to understand the references that I make, well, I say the references I make. If you have guys like are confused, like sometimes I'll mention like um, like in the like on my Sunday the arrival video, I mentioned uh, I mentioned some game. Uh, well, sorry, I mentioned on Standard the Arrival, I mentioned Jeff the Killer from Creepcast. Um, yeah, Stolen Tongues is from Creepcast, so... See y'all later. Um, yeah, it's from Creepcast, so... Uh, I still think she follows you. Yes. But yeah, it's they mentioned like um, Jeff the Killer and whatnot, and they also read a story called Stolen Tongues, which I'm not going to spoil. But it seems like we are having a Stolen Tongues scenario over in my house. Well, in our house. I don't know what to say. Yeah, practically it sounded exactly like you as if you're in the hallway. Oh, okay, she just walked right past you. One thing I will say about stolen tongues though. Okay, bye bye, Bambolina. Is um, basically the whole idea of it is if you say something in front of this um, whatever entity it is it can mimic you straight away like one of the current right I will say um Maybe skip forward a bit, like maybe like a minute or something. I like actually no, I would say double tap three times to skip thirty seconds or forty seconds because I'm probably in the elevator going to the next location. But uh, this is if you don't want spoilers or stolen tongues. So starting now, um, the creature, the guy like says like get the fuck away from my house, and then the creature outside his door literally says. In his voice, exactly how he says it. Get the fuck out of my house. And then it starts, like, saying, like, different words. To chest out his voice to, like... Do something in the story, which I can't spoil. But yeah, absolutely amazing. Scenario. And we might be having that over at my house. Well, over at our house, sorry, I keep saying my house. Okay, so... Welcome back if you skip forwards. Um, let's watch these tapes. Start uh, imagine. Oh shit! Oh, that's that's gonna be Sheriff Toadstar. Because there's a sheriff hat, so so they took an actual jumpy doggy or a fat jumpy doggy, as I like to call them, and turned them into Sheriff Toadstar. That is pretty cool. And we are back. Um. Sorry about that little delay, if, if the video could cut out to a weird thing again. Tata, but it says, protect your loved ones, they love you back the same. Uh, 
Um, as you can see in the back, my partners came in. <laughs> because of the incident with the... What I was mentioning about the stolen tongues, I guess. So, Tata bird equals two minus a peel bird. Equals two. But they represent the same digit. So this would be... This would be two. This would be three. And this would be two. Right, and then two, two Tartar birds equals four. So that should equal one. Tartar bird plus one of them will equal three. And one appealer bird represents two. Err, okay. Oh, that definitely equals one. That obviously equals two. What else would it be? A peeler bird minus minus tartar bird equals two, and if that represents two, then it has to be four. So that represents one. And that is once again four. Then that would equal to one, three, two. Okay, one, two. Okay, I had to look that up. Bambolina's protege. Mr. Kabootman says, be careful. Be yourself, no matter the cost, unlike me. Yeah, I had to look that up because I was very confused. Apparently a peel up bed represents three. Okay, so this is once again Sting Afflin. Hands on testing of KS13 has started and deemed very promising. KS13 is even capable of fluent speech, primitive instincts, and processes. Prone is to unwarranted hostility that were previously observed in cases seem to be completely absent from KS13. If accidental stinging is to be discreeted, disregarded. However, aggressiveness can still be presented when case fear is provoked or when any of its questions go unanswered. Aggressiveness never involved excessive violence or fatalities, despite case fear being completely aware of its impressive physical strength. Current testing invoked interest in case fear into basic human etiquette, such as shaking hands without stinging. The following phase of testing involved conforming case fear with its mission. At this rate, case fear should just be as ready as for the upcoming Bring a Friend Day as case 12G. Case is not ready for presentation. Noise equals red button equals flight. No. Um, 
noise equals red button equals rocket rocket goes to monster Dave, you with me? I'm assuming this is the final fight of the chapter. note explaining what that monster was anyone watching after the fight i did just cut the entire fight all of the because what i do for boss fights is i cut the first i put the first attack on me failing and then after that i just cut the rest out because 
I don't see the point in showing all my failures. We hate you or get banned banned. We hate you or get banned banned. Oh god. Hand over your pancreas. Fine little appeal bird. I also don't know why he's not moving. Three stones with one bird. Hand over your pancreas. Three stones with one bird. Hand over your pancreas. Behave or get banned. Ban Hand over your pancreas. I was really hoping you would have Three a different dialogue. Three stones with one bird. Hand over your pancreas. Behave or get banned. Ban Hand over your pancreas. Behave or get banned, banned. Three stones with one bird. How to, how to tame a giant angry bird. Ooh, shit. Achieve high ground, and then jump on its back. It's over top of bird. I have the high ground. There it was. That was one of the only reasons I watched all of the Star Wars movies was just to see that one specific scene. Other than that, it was because of um, I'd never watched them, so I was like, why not? So I've got to go all the way back down here. Do I have to do the boss fight again? No. That's good. Yeah, I know. We had, like, random little switch to talk about Star Wars, but... I never watched the movies when they came out, obviously. I think they came out way before I was born. Or just a few years before. Um, I watched like the animated show shows um, and whatnot. And then I noticed they were all on Disney Plus and I was like, I'm just gonna give Three it a watch. Stones with one bird. Three stones with one bird. Behave or get banned. Ban Hand over your pancreas. Behave or get banned. Ban Three stones with one bird. Hand over your pancreas. Hand over your pancreas. Behave or get banned. Ban Behave or get banned. Ban Hand over your pancreas. Behave or get banned. Ban Behave or get banned. Ban Three stones with one bird. Behave or get banned. Ban Yeah, the only Star Wars movies I haven't watched is Attack of the Clones. And another movie that was apparently were terrible and I just like to, I just decided to skip them. Ooh, I got him. Hell yeah. Oh, you're taking me where I need to go. Oh, that's so cute. She's got handprints on her now. Okay. Bird riding is a new one. I'll give you that. What drives you forward so vigorously? I refuse to accept it as your protective parent of instincts. Oh, I know. Someone has given you false hope. Promised you what you want when all along they had one thing on their mind. Pancreases. At first, I was confused by how everything was going perfectly in your favor, despite you never being here before. And then it hit me. Someone has to have been guiding you. And as with most things, I was right. It did have help. Is it the party hats that Your controls me? Your friend anything? here has helped me tremendously. Thanks to him, 
I bore witness to very vital information. What information, you ask? Well, when my turn comes, I will simply prevent myself from turning into what he turned into. Oh god, hello. Use left stick axes to change the speed. What? Race rules take bird crosses first. Oops. Oh, here comes Batman. Hello. Send that monster. I want to admit, this is quite nice to see, like, uh, a mother and a father with that kid running away and then a, another parent tagging along, even if the father doesn't want this to happen. Still help me. Also, he is both. Oh, damn. It's just like a. It's just nothing but like skin on like the first part, and then. God, as soon as he turns into a devil, the muscles come out. Oh, he's not muscular, he just looks like he's muscular. Ooh, Jumbo Josh versus... Oh, shit! So that's how tall Jumbo Josh is, holy shit. God damn. Ooh. I guess that's one thing to give Josh, he might... He's definitely a mindless idiot, but he is strong as shit. Stop it, you two. Yeah, Josh is definitely stuck in the sting of- Ooh, shit, I was not expecting- Did the baby fall? Oh no. Find the kingdom, find the sheriff, do not let the jester find you. Oh no, little buddy. I guess in a way it's better me taking care of you than anyone else. I mean, a, a parent to a child. Obviously this the, it is a child. But Josh is that strong. I mean, I was like, maybe Josh is stronger than Sting Athlin, but I was not expecting him just to grab his tentacle and just shove him straight into the wall. <sighs> so, Stinger Flint is obviously smart with a bit of strength. Um, Ban Ban is a bit of both. He's a bit of strength and he's a bit of smartness, but he's not as strong as Stinger Flint and Jumbo Josh. Josh is obviously just dumb. 
I hate to say it, he's, he's probably not the smartest out of all of them. But then... Uh, yeah, Josh is just pure strength. Gotta respect him for it. But that has been Got in a Band Band 3. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen today. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss a future upload of mine. We will be continuing next Halloween episode with Got in a Band Band 4, the final one we have. Um, looking forward to it. Um, I don't remember much from these Got in a Band Band 4s. And then after 4, I don't know anything. So hopefully 5 comes out soon. But till then, I will see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye.